Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, pretty short but very important. Maintenance before mods, let's jump right into it. So I've owned my 2016 BMW 535i, the F10, that's sitting behind me for about four months now. And in that time, I've done a lot of maintenance on this car. I've, done, I've had spark plugs done, I've had air filter, uh, in-cabin filter, oil change, transmission fluid service. I believe the red diff has already been done. I gotta check my records and see if I've done that. If not, I'll have it done. So there's one simple bit of maintenance that a lot of people tend to ignore with cars in general and that has to do with the fuel filler cap. Think about this. This car is six, seven years old, let's say seven years old, and let's say you fill up once a week. So that's 52 weeks a year times seven. You're looking at 364 times that you've opened your fuel filler cap. And over time, uh, the seal on that fuel filler cap can go bad. One of the ways you can tell is you can start smelling gases in the car. Another way you can tell is the car might throw a check engine light. Other things that can happen is you can get debris and sediment into the tank that can over time foul up your injectors, etc. and you start having problems with the car. So to kind of negate all of that, if you start smelling gases or you start seeing check engine light, first check to see that your fuel filler cap is on tight. If it is on tight, if it's loose or anything like that, just go ahead and replace it. So I got my part here. Um, I haven't had any of those issues, but I just said, you know what, let me just go ahead and order it and just replace it anyway as a bit of preventative maintenance. It is very easy to replace. You can do it yourself. I'll have a link to the part number in the uh, description down below. So you can check that out after the video. Just click on the link. It will take you to Amazon. So the process to replace the existing gas cap is pretty simple. Just open the fuel filler door. On the door, you would see a little extension that holds the gas cap to the door push forward toward the car that should snap out turn the gas cap counterclockwise and take it out of the car and you should have it in your hands all right so i have the two fuel filler caps side by side so you can see this is the new one here it looks a lot wider and everything just seems a lot better you can even see the numbers written here i think all of that may have gotten burned off with the fuel that's gone into the tank with the old one so the new one looks fresh and clean the seal has a much stronger blue than the old uh, fuel filler cap um, so let's just go ahead and put it in it is very easy to put in it's just the reverse of what i did so what i'll do first is i will take the fuel filler cap put it in as you would normally do tighten it and then you attach the handle to the door just put it in that's it voila that is it all right guys well that is it for the video very short very simple I have my old cap in the bag. I'll be keeping it in the garage just in case I need it or a friend need it. You never know, someone might steal mine. But uh, just put it away or you can throw it out. Uh, if you have to ask yourself when was the last time you've ever replaced your gas cap, just go ahead and do it. It's a couple bucks. The link is down in the description below. Click on the link, check it out, buy it, replace it. It's very simple. You can do it yourself. Don't wait until you have an emergency like your injectors need to be replaced or anything like that. Just go ahead and replace it and be done with it. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one.